Well, it doesn't look like it, but it's 65 degrees outside, just, you know, five degrees shy of that 70 degree mark. The winds are out of the south at nine miles per hour, and we will see the temperatures warming up just a bit more before the skies start to open up. The visible satellite view is finally illuminated and it does show a couple of features. One, it certainly shows the weakening trend on the outer fringes of this front. It was coming in pretty strong this morning. There were several warnings that were associated with it, and I'm certain that Nashville got walloped about 45 minutes ago, but it's starting to flatten out. It will start to redevelop and become a bit more robust later this afternoon once that daytime heating is overhead. Now check this out. We still have a lot of low hanging clouds. Not much rain though happening underneath the clouds. It's kind of a changing of the guard. We have this south wind coming up and this cold front approaching. They're all emerging right through central Alabama. Those two combined will generate a decent amount of rainfall and maybe even some brief flooding. But look what the cold front has done to the canvas of the country. It's four in Lincoln, four degrees, four degrees. It was about 60 degrees hotter yesterday. And so we're seeing temperatures just within a state 40 to 50 degrees colder. It's just about 80 degrees in Jackson, Mississippi right now. So looking right now at the temperatures, we have 70s already starting to seep in. So a little bit more sunshine looks to be peeking through the clouds. Look at that temperature just going on up as we speak. 74 in Utah, 71 in Tuscaloosa right now, 65 Birmingham and 66 there in Anniston. So we certainly have enough humidity. We do also have all of the heating of the day and we will have the instability too. So putting all those elements together, that's the recipe for strong to severe storms. It just will not be quite as severe as it tracks eastward. Future cast does pick up on that motion, but want to reiterate that our impact symbol starts to pop up around 6 p.m. And so atmospheric conditions will be conducive to supercell formation at around 6 o'clock. Now this forecast model is only depicting it around 8, 9, 10 p.m., but our live Doppler radar will do it in real time, so just stick with us. 10 p.m. still looking at those thunderstorms kind of clustered around areas of I-65 and I-59, lingering through the morning hours, but eventually tapering off just a bit by Wednesday. And so because we are seeing this slow movement, we expect to see the flash flood watch mainly for Coleman County north and northwestward. That's going to be ongoing because we still do have pretty consistent forecast models talking about one to maybe even three inches of rain in areas like Coleman County, maybe even northern Walker County and Fayette County too. The temperatures are already in the 70s, so that's where we are today. The rain chances will continue into your Wednesday and Thursday, but the cold air is not set to arrive until the weekend.